thought I'd do a short video on uh, how I hooked up the electric choke on this uh, 305 that I've got in my plow truck. Um, originally this truck would have had a heated choke off of the intake manifold and with this uh, Summit intake that I put on there, there's no exhaust crossover. So there's no way to even hook up a climatic choke the way it originally would have had. So I put this uh, remanufactured quarter jet on here and uh, came with a, it's the, the original style carburetor that would have been on this truck, but it's got an electric choke on it instead of the climatic choke. So to hook that up, really is pretty simple. Um, what I did is I ran ran everything through a relay right here. And I bolted that onto a, a bracket uh, that holds the spark plug wires. And then for power, I ran um, I ran all my power up here right off the back of the alternator. So I've got a uh, 12 volt, like a 14 gauge wire coming straight up to the um, output of the alternator then that goes back through this wire loom here and then goes into that relay and then comes off of the relay and goes back up here to power the choke choke is just grounded through the carburetor so there's no ground wire to hook up and then uh, to activate the relay I ran this thin wire here and tapped into the um, ignition lead so um, uh, an easy easy way to do it would have been just run off of that ignition coil so when the key is on it would power both the ignition coil and the choke but uh, they say that's a bad idea you can overload your ignition switch and then you end up killing both your truck won't run because you fried your ignition switch so I used the 12 volt signal off of the coil and then use that down here, run that into the relay, which trips the relay. And then the relay is grounded right here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little ring, uh, ring connector right on that bolt that holds the relay on. So then the relay trips, picks up power from the alternator and sends it essentially straight to the coil. So I've got, you know, a good 14 volt signal all the time to power that um, power that choke um, I should uh, should probably put a fuse in that I did not do that but um, smart money would put you know a 10 amp fuse would be a great plenty to power a choke so um, like I said because I changed that manifold out to one without an exhaust crossover there's no way to uh, hook up the original style choke that it would have had, so I had to get just a little bit creative to do that. But uh, this was a pretty easy solution, just a, just a regular single pole double throw relay. And uh, and you could do it with a single pole single throw, you don't need the double throw, but that's what I had on hand, and, and I had this, uh, this handy wiring harness here. So just hook that up, um, tapped into the ignition coil to power the the relay and then send power straight to the choke so not saying that's the right way or the wrong way but uh, that's the way I did it probably a hundred other ways to do it but uh, I thought that was pretty pretty easy solution so if you're looking for a way to hook up an electric choke that's uh, that's one way you could do it